Hi Cancer, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel, Yance's Universe. Welcome back existing viewers and subscribers. And welcome new viewers and subscribers. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is going to be your October 2021 love reading, Cancer. We're going to take a look into your past, present, and possible near future outcome in regards to your love life or whatever spirit wants you to know, okay? Cancer, remember to flip the roles reverse them. This is for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node signs. If they don't resonate, check back with me. It could have already happened. could be happening now. could happen in the near future, you guys. And this is the energy between you and your person. So it may um, mesh together, correlate, and, you know, just flip-flop the roles, all right? It could be anyone on your mind, anyone that has you on their mind, or anyone in your energy, baby, okay? So, ancestors and guides, please protect me as I go within the tarot. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, no weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. Please fight for me and protect me, my viewers and subscribers, and the messages. Any negativity directed towards me or my messages or my channel or viewers, return to sender. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Let's jump into it. So for your past, we have, I love everything about you. So there is someone in the past who loved every single thing about you, Cancer, or you loved every single thing about them. Okay, you had a spiritual wake-up call with this person. Or they had a spiritual wake-up call when you guys connected. But the feminine energy says, I need to heal now. So whatever may have happened, the spiritual wake-up call led you to making the decision to heal. It's time for me to heal now. So that's what happened in the past. There was someone who loved everything about you. Maybe you didn't love everything about yourself because there's a spiritual wake-up call that you had. I need to do this. I need to do that. Okay, so this love made you wake up spiritually and let you know, hey, there are some things I need to heal. So maybe you may have been triggered or maybe this person may have been triggered. Whatever it is, okay? I'm just trying to read between the lines with these cards, okay? So that was the past. What's going on currently? It says red. Red could be important to you. Tomatoes could be important to you. Or red apples. Red says to forgive. Your nickname could be red. Maybe someone is a yellow bone, has red hair. Okay. Let's read it and see what's going on currently. We have a 10. So this is an ending and a new beginning. Forgive, Cancer. Maybe you need to forgive others or forgive yourself. All right? Red, forgive. Cancer, you've been holding a grudge against somebody in your life. Maybe it's a loved one or maybe it's yourself. This isn't a card telling you that you must learn to practice forgiveness. No, Cancer. Forgive them on your own terms if and when you are ready to do so. This is simply a nudge for you to consider whether that time is the present. Don't let forgiveness feel like an obligation, though. Let it feel like a shiny red hope that gets you through your sleepless late nights. Okay? This is the current energy. So maybe you've been wondering if you should forgive. Maybe you feel like it's time to forgive. For your near future outcome, we have charity, generosity. Okay? Maybe you being nicer to yourself, loving on yourself. Or maybe someone may need your help or you're receiving help from someone. Okay? Clarifying charity. I have the judgment card forgiveness right here. Okay, maybe someone may be reaching out to you for forgiveness, a Sagittarius or a Scorpio. Or maybe you're just forgiving yourself, being kind and generous with yourself, loving yourself. Okay, whatever generosity and charity mean to you, whatever judgment and forgiveness means to you. I clarified a little further and it says, I never meant to hurt you. Maybe you're telling yourself, I never meant to hurt myself. I don't know how I winded up doing this or doing that, but I'm going to forgive myself and love myself. Maybe someone is coming towards you to ask for forgiveness. Remember, forgive has come out so many times. Okay? And you might you might be undecided whether you want to forgive them. You might be undecided if this person comes back asking for forgiveness. It's one thing to ask for forgiveness. So, forgiveness and then we move forward. Forgiveness and we move forward and become friends. Forgiveness and we move forward and we get back together. Okay? You may be undecided when it comes to that. Okay? So, yeah, I hear someone's name could be Charity. Someone's name is Charity. Okay. So, let's jump into your all signs portion. We're going to go from Aries to Pisces. So, you could be dealing with any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. 
Sagittarius strongly, Scorpio strongly, Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. have Gemini in your chart. Okay. Okay. Cancer, if you're dealing with an Aries, Aries said, so many things remind me of you, but I left you when I saw you with someone. Aries says, I love your smile. You have sexy teeth. You have pretty teeth. If you're dealing with the Taurus, Taurus wants you right now. Taurus says, I want you and I wish things could be different. Taurus, could have Aries in their chart, okay? You could have met them during Aries season. They could act like a, you know, this Taurus could be a boss, a, um entrepreneur. They could own their own business, a comp their own company. They could be a father or a mother. This Taurus could just have Aries in their chart. You could have met them during Aries season. They could just act like an Aries. You may connect with them again during Aries season, okay? Um, if you're dealing with a Gemini, Gemini says we need to let each other go. But I'll wait for a sign from you. We, we're letting each other go. We're going to heal. And I'll wait for a sign from you. Gemini says, I only have sex to offer, though. Okay? If you're dealing with another cancer, cancer says, I hope that you can forgive me one day. And I left you before you could leave me. I hope you can forgive me for that. Cancer says, I like when you call me daddy. I like when you call me mama. Okay? If you're dealing with the Leo, Leo says, finding out the truth crushed me. But I know I crossed the line with you. Leo says, you don't know how jealous I get. Okay? Virgo says, I replay our conversations over and over, and I wish I treated you better. Virgo says, wet my beard. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, I'm sorry, Virgo, Libra. If you're dealing with a Libra, Libra says, I want to feel that way again, and we will be together again. Libra says, I spell your name when I write it, or this is what you do. Okay? If you're dealing with a Scorpio. Scorpio says it's time for me to heal now because I know I messed up everything. Scorpio says I only want sex. If you're dealing with the Sagittarius, Sagittarius says I can't stop thinking about you and I remember every detail of that day. Sagittarius says I feel like no one can hurt me when I'm with you. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Capricorn says I know I was just a distraction from your pain and I regret, I regret lying to you about that. Okay? Capricorn says they're bisexual. They could be, or you could be bisexual. It could just be a bisexual energy moving forward. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, Aquarius said, I hid who I really am from you. And the timing just wasn't right for us. Aquarius says, I come fast when you choke me. If you're dealing with the Pisces, Pisces says, you were the best thing in my life, but I am not available. Pisces says, sex is the only way I know how to show you how I feel. Okay? That is all I have for you, my loves. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, check the description box, donate to the channel, purchase any of my sets. Follow me on my social media. Y'all be safe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.